Scary. Scary stuff. Section 201, page 72, lines 8 through 14. Government is creating an HP exchange to bring private plans under government control. Oh, whoopee. Don't you like that? Sounds wonderful. Private plans will then disappear. Go ahead. You got the next section. Does that mean PPOs disappear as well? That's right. Do we even get an there? Okay. Section uh, 203, page 84 states that the government mandates all benefit packages for private health care plans in the exchange. All benefit packages for private health care plans in the exchange. That sounds like total government control. Yeah, completely. That's communism. People, that's, that's communism. That's what communism is. Government total control. Section 203, page 85, line 7, specifications for benefit levels. Benefit levels for plans means that the government will define your health care plan and has the ability to ration your health care. Oh, I guess if I need something and I'm over 65 and there's a young soldier that's 40 and they need the same thing, I'll wait. That's what they do in England until I die. But the 45-year-old will get the care because they can keep him in the slave mold for a few more years, a little more useful to them. What's the next section you have, Joyce? <laughs> page 205. Section 205, page 95, lines 8 through 18. The government will use groups, otherwise known as ACORN and AmeriCorps, to inform, inform and educate, which means sign up individuals for the government plan. <sighs> no comment. AmeriCorps, so what are they going to... Yeah. Are they going yeah. to they gonna educate children? Yeah, they're going to brainwash kids early on. Lines 18, 12 to 18, Medicaid eligible individuals will be automatically enrolled in Medicaid. No freedom to choose. Section 223, page 124, lines 24 to 25. No company can sue the government for price fixing. No administrative of judicial review against a government monopoly. Wow. I thought that was illegal. I thought that was illegal too. No company can sue the government for price fixing. Wow. That's pretty heavy. Lines 1 through 16. Doctors, the government will tell you what you can make. Oh, the doctor's going to love that. Yeah. The secretary shall provide an annual participation of physicians under the public health insurance option for which payment may be made for services furnished during the year. Hmm. Joyce? Oh, so, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm sure, neurosur I'm, I'm sure neurosurgeons are going to be just... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that'll be great. Enthralled. Okay, section 312, page 145, lines 15 to 17. Employers must auto-enroll employees into public option plan. So even if you opted for your benefit yep. package for private health care, you still get auto-enrolled. Auto-enrolled in the public option plan. So it sounds to me like you really don't have any choices. They're going to cram Obama death care down your throat, one way or the other, and it's going to kill you. Any employer with a payroll of 400000 and above who does not provide public option pays an 8% tax on all payroll. So to not join the government is going to cost those employers a big pile of money. Oh, my God. If, if I've got a big payroll of several million and it's going to cost me 8% more to not be part of the government plan, 8% is usually your profit margin. So they're basically saying, we're going to take all your profits. You know, 8 to 10% is most big businesses' profit margin. Wow. That's what keeps them afloat. And you take that away. This is to destroy America. Obama health care is really Obama Rama drama for death care. This is to destroy America. That's encouraging employers to not sign you up for a better health plan. That's really sad. Next, section 313, page 150, lines 9 through 13. Businesses with a payroll between 251000 and 400000 who do not provide public option pay 2 to 6% tax on all payroll. Oh, my God. 
That's almost equal. <laughs> this this will destroy America. If this is and Nancy Pelosi is full on for this, and uh, you know I think these people have to be arrested if they pass this. This is so communist. Uh, we'll have to form special grand juries backed up with county militias, and we'll have to send them out to arrest our Congress people that support this, our U.S. senators, and any lower officials. Have them arrested, indicted. The sheriff go get them, or the militia go get them. And we set a trial. We indict them. We convict them and we hang them. This is high treason. This bill basically is high treason. This is contrary to everything the articles in the United States Constitution stands for. But I'm not surprised the way they're stealing children and giving them to perverts and denying, you know, 50-50 uh, participation. And we've got a couple of guests to talk with us on that here in the studio coming up in a little while. Let's... Uh, that takes my breath away. I'm going to do the next one. 401 59B. Any individual who does not have a acceptable care, according to the government, will be taxed 2.5% of income. Oh, whoopee. Oh, you got the next one, Joyce. This is a this is a beauty. I'm really people. pissed off about this one though. I don't know if I oh, okay. Section 59B, page 170, line one. States, any non-resident alien is exempt from individual taxes, which means that you and I will be paying their taxes, their health care. <laughs> Why don't they just invite the whole world to move into the United <laughs> States and we'll all work ourselves to the bone, have our care rationed, and they get it free. That's what they're saying, people. And as most of you know that's ever employed illegal aliens, they work for cash. So they're not going to show up in the system. This is a plan to destroy America. Obama health care is the destruction of America. There, this is not, there's no in-between here. There's no room, there's no wiggle room. Just absolutely no wiggle room. They're going to stick it up where oh. the sun doesn't shine and, and it's going to blow this country. Oh, don't skip this one. The next one's good too. The next one's All right, beautiful. Joyce. I'm sorry. Page uh, 195 is section 431. Officers and employees of health care administration government will have access to all Americans' financial and personal records. Now, in order to carry this out, remember, they're going to make everybody over 65 go get their, their death counseling every five years. If you're over 65, you must go to them or you could be arrested for not going for your death counseling. Or if they claim you didn't show up for your death counseling. A death counseling, this is something new. They say, do you want the blue pill to go to sleep with and never wake up, or do you want the red pill? The red pill is very quick. The blue pill, you know, that, that sort of thing. Why do you want to live? You're already 67, you've raised your children. Why don't you just take the pill and save the government a lot of expensive medical care? Well, this section 431 stating that all officers, employees have access to your personal and financial records is just begging for more identity theft. I mean, over 30 over 30 percent of identity theft happens in the workplace, and that's because they have access to your records. And the government employs half of all of Americans, some right. part of the government. Right. And it's going to take. And we all love social workers, right? Oh, and yes. they work for the oh, government. Oh God. Yeah. No, oh, there's going to be some Can you really imagine bad having people. the same kidnappers that kidnap your children under the so-called child protective services, which I called child predatory snakes, CPS, having them all have access to all your financial records. I think that's, you know, this is the time to get out your guns dust off your Second Amendment, stock up on your ammo, and get ready because you're literally going to either be slaves to the government or you're going to have to fight. If this is inaugurated, we're going to have to. And I think they're put, this is why they're pushing it so hard. They want an armed rebellion. But special grand juries could keep things lawful. We could arrest these congressmen. We could arrest these public officials. We could indict them. And we could hang them for high treason. This is not a drill, this is not a drill. General Porter, General Porter, all hands on your battle station. Foreigners get health care, and you wait, and your children suffer.